Hi everyone, my name is Eze Iganugwe and I am a filmmaker and photographer from Los Angeles, California. And I'm here to show you a color correcting tutorial on DaVinci Resolve. Okay, so right now we have DaVinci Resolve open and this is the file that we're working with. And so on our right hand side, we see we have our nodes. So the first thing we're gonna do is gonna create three nodes. So to create these three nodes, we're gonna use option S there. And now we have these three nodes. We're gonna rename these. So the first one is gonna be saturation. Second one is gonna be CST, which means color space transform. And the third one is just gonna be our sharpness. So this is really basic and simple. I like to start off and just add a little bit of saturation to my image. So this was shot in S log three, uh, S gamut, cine. Uh, I'll put all the specs here on the screen uh, with the Sony A7S III. So I'll go right here to this dial with my color wheels and I'll just bring this up to about 60 just to give it just a little bit of uh, a little bit of saturation and then I'll go here to my color space transform tab I go to effects search bar and you can search color space transform so when you're shooting um, any type of s-log footage um, this is the primary method which I've learned um, through different people on YouTube of how to properly convert your footage and so you go into input gamma and I would choose S log three right here. And then for the input color space, I would change that to S gamma three and boom, we see that pop. We see that glow in our image. It's nice and clean. I don't have to touch anything over here. Um, as far as my color space or gamma, some people might prefer to change this to, um, rec 709, but Personally, I like how it looks with this. I feel like I like this more contrast. I feel like this looks more true to life and it varies depending on the video you're shooting. For this specific shot, I like it as is. After that, I'll just go to here to sharpness and I'll go to this dial down here and I'll click on that and I like to bring this to about 0.48. That's like the sweet spot for me, especially if I'm shooting S-Log3 and in the settings of the S-Log3, the detail is like negative seven. Then you wanna bring back that sharpness in post so it looks better. And then as we can see, if I make it full screen, you can see that it's nice and clear. We have full clarity on everything and it looks really good for this, for this specific shot. So there you have it. That is how to do a quick color correction of some S-Log3 footage as you can see the artist is dancing and vibing and the music video is going to be dropping very very soon my goal is to get into the teaching space when it comes to photography and videography i've had a lot of people ask me about just doing like behind the scenes and content and teaching and so i feel like god has called me to do that i'm hoping to continue these courses and just see how it goes if you like this type of content feel free to subscribe put in the comments anywhere if you have any specific questions things you want to learn if you want to see behind the scenes outside of just color correcting color grading what kind of goes into the whole process when it comes to filmmaking when it comes to photography and i will aim to help with that